All right, today I just wanted to share a thoughtful message from somebody. Uh, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to put him out there like that. But the person sent me an email. He said, I just wanted to say that I believe your videos are great and I respect your knowledge of the martial arts. I'm 16 years old. I live in Seattle, Washington, and I'm half Chinese and Caucasian. I've learned the concept of Jeet Kune Do and apply it to everything I learn. Also, I'm a state wrestler and have applied everything I learned in GAKD to wrestling in terms of philosophy. I hope to one day master my own personal style and philosophy of martial arts and teach. You have given me inspiration to continue to learn and not give up. Thanks. I just wanted to share that message, you know, um, thank the person for sending me the message and I'm thankful for the positive energy and this is what I'm supposed to be here for, you know, sharing positive energy and this is how I started my YouTube channel and, you know, I went into the wrong path, getting too much involved in the negativity, um, but, you know, I learned my lessons and then now I'm back trying to put positive energy out there either put out positive energy or just don't put any videos out there at all or you know create when you're coming from a state of meditation and create when you're feeling positive um, when it comes to negativity you gotta learn how to direct that energy in the right ways you know in healthier ways and this person being half Caucasian half Chinese um, that's what Brandon Lee was, Bruce Lee's son, Shannon Lee as well. And we're living in America now, and there's just not that many Chinese people around. You know, as far as I don't really see that many. You know, so the culture is in a way dying in America. But globally, they're very powerful because, you know, there's over, you know, a billion people in China. But in America, the culture is dying, you know. Um, not not that it's just not that it's dying, but it's almost like it never it never entered into mainstream, you know, because Bruce Lee was the first and only that that went into Hollywood, and after that, pretty much there's no one else, and it's almost like you know, still in Hollywood, there's a lot of discrimination, a lot of racism, and you see a, a lot of the Asians in particular that are being discriminated against in Hollywood and the media. You know, I mean, like there's a popular show right now and the show is called, you know, starring an Asian cast, but it's called Fresh Off the Boat, right? And you got movies like Rush Hour that come out that poke fun at the Chinese culture. You know, really, you don't really see any respect coming towards the Chinese when it comes to mass media. and. I'm thankful to have the opportunity to be on YouTube to try to gain that respect. You know, that's all, you know, that I'm asking for is just equal respect for, you know, the Chinese, just like there's respect for the Caucasians and respect for the blacks and respect for all people. And for this person to be half Caucasian, half Chinese, um, he can't turn against who he is, you know, or he shouldn't, because, you know, he's in a position where he could he could see, you know, he, he, a part of America is in him, and a part of China is in him, and he's pretty much seeing the benefits of both worlds, that's how I feel, and I feel that, that we work very hard towards getting respect in this world. And that's what it's all about when it comes to expressing yourself in the martial arts is we need to put out positive energy and we train in the martial arts to get respect, you know, and to be ourselves. So I just want to thank for the message and I just want to share that positive message to the people.